When it comes to being creative with hair colors, the beauty industry has expanded in how various hair dye applications and techniques are used to reach diverse looks and combinations. The options are unlimited, from opting for freehand techniques to different styles of using foils. But some of the most popular and well-known services are highlights, baby lights, and low lights. In this video, we try to learn about these popular hair services, their similarities and differences from each other, and the factors that determine their pricing. It's essential to understand all these factors to make the best decision for the future of your hair. Stick till the end of this video to have access to exclusive deals from the best hair coloring salons around you and book the best service for the best price. Make sure to subscribe to Beautser to stay up to date with the latest beauty trends and grasp all you need to know about every beauty procedure out there. Arguably the trendiest technique for lightening the hair in many decades, highlights are achieved by dividing hair strands, applying lighter shades of color from root down, and folding the hair into foils to let it process. The term highlights is usually an umbrella term that can describe different hair lightening styles, but when performed well, any highlight can add gorgeous dimension and depth to your hair. The general rule is to lighten the hair about three shades more than the client's natural hair tone to reach subtle highlights that look natural. It is also manageable to go for a more contrasting and dramatic difference of color tones or apply color to larger sections of the hair to diverge from the regular highlights. Asking for a balayage is another creative way to get a highlighted look. In balayage, the hair colorist applies the lighteners directly to the hair sections with her hands instead of using foil. This leaves the client with more blended and natural highlights that look like sun-kissed hair that is easy to maintain and offers a simple yet stunning look. Generally, highlights tend to last between 6 to 8 weeks. Your hair growth, hair care routine, hair type, and the environment are the main factors that affect the longevity of your highlights. Hair colorists can perform highlights partially or to a full head of hair. Partial highlights tend to cost between $45 to $55 and are a great option to try out the highlighted look as they are cheaper and more customizable than a full head of highlights. A full highlight usually costs anywhere from $80 to $100 for at least 12 foils of lightener to achieve a dimensional style across your hair. You can always ask your stylist to estimate the final prices based on the number of color foils necessary to reach your desired look. Short hair highlights cost about $70 as they require less styling time and hair dye. In contrast, people with shoulder length hair and more can expect to pay anywhere between $90 to $150 for a full head of highlight for the same reasons. Highlights can significantly impact your style, so they are a fantastic option if you are looking for a drastic change of looks. They are also quite versatile and adjustable, so make sure to ask your stylist the right questions and get proper guidance in terms of which look to go for. Next up are the baby lights. Baby lights are very subtle highlights that aim to mimic the lightened, sun-kissed hair of a child, playing outside on a sunny afternoon in July. Baby lights share more similarities with conventional highlights than differences. They too involve lightening sections of the hair from root to the tip with foils, but the main difference is the size of the hair sections. Baby lights cover smaller micro sections of the hair with smaller gaps between the chunks of hair. With the help of focusing on smaller segments of the hair, super soft, very subtle and even more natural highlights are possible to be performed. Baby lights tend to lighten your natural hair no more than two shades, as their purpose is to bring you natural looking highlighted hair and avoid extreme contrast of color. Like an ombre, which is another form of balayage with a natural hair tone at the top and lighter shades at the tips, Baby Lights is a low maintenance hair coloring style that can evolve as the time passes. Your more delicate highlights will evolve into a softer style as the hair grows out, and you will not have a demarcation line. A full head of Baby Lights usually needs a touch up session after 8 weeks, with partial Baby Lights stretching the aftercare to 12 to 14 weeks. Sectioning the hair into precise, small and fine strands needs a lot of focus and time, which raises baby light prices slightly compared to classic highlights. You can expect to pay about $100 to $120 for receiving a baby light at an average salon. And now we get to low lights. Contrary to highlights and baby lights, low lights go in the opposite direction to add more dimension and volume to the hair. In the low light technique, the stylist tries to darken certain sections of the hair to help the clients add depth to their lightened hair. Sometimes people mistake low lights for darker highlights, but unlike highlights, low lights do not involve any lightening. Low lights are a great addition to every hair. They can help bring the illusion of a voluminous look to thin hair. For people who want to give darker shades a try, low lights can be a safe darkening choice that does not take the natural depth and dimension of the hair. Low lights can be done to hair of different length. Low light users adore the way low lights accentuate their curly or straight hair movements. 
Many creative stylists combine traditional highlights with lowlights to achieve their signature look. If you've been sporting a highlighted look for long, lowlights can also be used to recreate the lost depth of a faded highlight. Another great thing about lowlights is that unlike typical highlights, which can lighten the hair way more than the natural shade, they bring a seamless, blendable look that does not need frequent touch-ups. You can go from 2 to 4 months of low-maintenance hair and look as good as when you left the hair salon. Asking for lowlights, which is the same as requesting your stylist to dye certain parts of your hair with pigments that are several shades darker than your hair color, would cost you about $75 in the average hair salon in Canada. We tried to cover all you need to know about these three fabulous hair color styles. We hope it helped you understand all you needed to know about highlights, baby lights, and lowlights to make a better decision for the future of your hair. Buster brings you all the coloring specialists and hair coloring salons around your location specializing in highlights, baby lights, and lowlights to help guide you through finding the best option for yourself. Click on the link in the description to have a look at the client pictures, check out their calendar, and book a consultation session immediately to ensure your well-being and enjoy having the hair of your dreams. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Butster and check out our other videos. Until next time, take care of yourself and your stunning beauty.